Hey everyone, I can't wait to share this with you. I've been wanting to make my own My Fair Lady dress ever since my sister made hers years ago. I piecemealed a bunch of patterns together to make this. I got the bottom from this simplicity pattern and then and I did make sure to add some extra length because I wanted to uh, like make sure that it was long enough and a good train. And then the top pieces I used from this simplicity pattern and I needed sleeves and a, a closer neckline so I used this pattern. If you've ever made a sewing project that combined more than one pattern, please let me know in the comments. I want to hear all about it. When piecemealing patterns together, make sure you finish the lining before cutting out the main fabric. I made myself some cookie dough to make this day even better. I do have to say this fabric is the fabric from hell. Don't ever buy satin people. I thought I knew better. I wouldn't buy any satin because it looks cheap and it frays like crazy. But I saw this matte satin on the rack and I'm like, oh, so beautiful. But it was just as awful. It frayed just as much. It looked better, but it frayed. Oh, it was so bad. Don't ever buy satin for any reason, people. So once I got the top and the bottom done, I put them together on me and I lined up the seams just to make sure everything was working good, see where everything needed to line up. I was pretty happy with it so far, it was looking good. And always, always, always make things a little bit bigger, not a little bit smaller. You can always suck it in, but you can't ever let it out. So that's what I did, especially um, right under my butt where it hugs into my legs. I made that area a, about a normal amount, maybe a little bit bigger, and then I sucked it in once I was able to try it on. I loved having this mannequin, it was a lifesaver. And this is always my favorite part. I love connecting the top to the bottom. So this was fun. Got it on, trying it on. Oh, feeling good. It's looking good, matching up. I made sure to make it fit like a glove. And of course my doggo Daisy was with me the whole time. So now, armed with my kitty pen, I started measuring for those stripe bands that are the key feature on this dress. I found some striped fabric. Now I had to get some interfacing for it because this striped fabric was stretchy and I definitely needed stiff fabric. So I got some interfacing and applied them together. Make sure to clip those corners when you're making a little uh, rectangle little pillow. So I turned these inside out. And I think that the new Beetlejuice coming out was the key to finding black and white striped fabric because when my sister made her dress, it was impossible to find it. So thank goodness for the new Beetlejuice coming out. I went ahead and made three of these bows. The original dress has two bows on the dress and one on the hat, I believe, but I decided against doing one at the top. So once I got these stripes done, I started tacking them while well, stabbing my mannequin with pins and to hold it on there. And once I got them all in the right place, along with my doggo, then I went ahead and started hand stitching them on. This is one of my favorite parts because I can hang out hand stitching while watching a TV or show or something. I think I was watching some kind of makeover show, house makeover show. So this is one of my favorite parts and it's looking so good. I'm feeling really good about it. Now it's time to make the hat. I was so excited. I got the biggest straw hat I could find on Amazon. Got some wire from the Dollar Tree. And I just started snipping and duct taping it together. Really, I tried to keep it really thin, but I did double up. It was two sets of wires all the way around the brim. I hand stitched all the way around to keep it there nice and snug. Then I got some double fold bias tape, some black and gave it a nice trim. So this really actually gave it, not only hid the wire, but gave it a real wow factor when I was wearing it. I got some black tulle that was left over in my sewing box. I found some ostrich feathers that were also left over from another project. And I found these cool little black feathers that were also left over. And then I threw on my bow. I stitched it all on to make sure it was really strong. And then I used some hot glue. So this is the finished project. I am so happy with how it turned out, absolutely happy. The parasol, I apologize I didn't videotape, but it was just a PVC pipe with a bunch of lace. <laughs> That's really all it was, just a PVC pipe with some lace on it. So I'm so glad I got to share this with you. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am the Little Black Shade Tree. I can't wait to see you in the next video.